our planet is home to some lethal killing machines. Summertime, of course, means hitting the beach, but a string of shark attacks. A man is tonight feared dead after a shark attack. I see sharks out here fairly regularly. An Australian man has been mauled to death. His family and friends. The bigger the predator. Great white shark. Blue, grey. Were bitten by a shark despite repeated attacks and was on his way up for air when the shark bit. A shark has been in the vicinity. A separate shark attack. A shark attack. Shark attack. <laughs> In this video, we take a closer look at the most dangerous shark species. Lurking in the depths hides an apex predator. The Great White Shark. Even its name terrifies and fascinates most of us. This massive creature holds an important role beneath the waves. As the largest predatory fish in the ocean, it is top dog. Great whites keep prey populations such as elephant seals and sea lions in check. The very presence of these magnificent beasts has a profound impact on the oceanic ecosystem. Enhancing species diversity, benefiting the overall health of the marine environment. Class as a vulnerable species due to its dwindling population, attacks on humans are rare, but with its rows of serrated teeth, each two and a half inches long. Bloody hell. Interactions with humans are extremely dangerous as these cage divers are about to find out. Fuck me. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, these are the most aggressive shark species. They bite first and ask questions later. And thanks to pop culture are the reason many people are afraid of the open water myself included. But not all shark attacks happen out at sea. In the calm waters of our planet's rivers and estuaries, another hidden danger lurked beneath the surface. The aptly named bull shark. Like a ball, they are aggressive and unpredictable. And through a process known as osmoregulation, ball sharks can actually adjust the salt to water ratio in their body. They can swim in depths as shallow as three feet, and since they're not bothered by fresh water, they can venture into places you wouldn't believe. Far upriver. In 1937, two fishermen near Alton, Illinois, caught a bull shark some 1,750 miles upriver from New Orleans. Heh, <laughs> they look pleased with themselves. So not only does this shark have the element of surprise, it's known for not being too fussy with its meals. A nasty combo. An encounter with a bull shark can be relentless. Once it's got something in its sights, bull sharks rarely give up on their dinner. The tiger shark, named for its, well, tiger stripes, is the second largest predatory shark. Tiger sharks love shallow, coastal waters, a bit like most swimmers. Like its namesake, the tiger shark is an apex predator with a ravenous appetite. Its menu includes, well, everything really, from fish, seabirds, dolphins, sea turtles, rays, crustaceans, and even other sharks. These f***ers will eat anything. 
Unlike great whites, who tend to wound their prey and circle whilst their poor victim bleeds out, tiger sharks don't swim away, and they will have you for dinner, my friend. Statistics show that the now endangered great white is responsible for 37% of all shark attacks. Bull sharks and tiger sharks are responsible for way less. But while great whites attack most often, they're the least likely to kill their victims. Tigers and bulls are far more lethal. Their attacks often lead to irreparable physical damage and ultimately deaths. So if you do find yourself being hunted by a shark, what do you do? Sharks are ambush predators. So it's important to face the shark and maintain eye contact. Don't act like prey and splash around. If one approaches, push down and away on its head to guide it away from you. If you've suffered a bite, you need to defend yourself. Use whatever you can and go for his eyes, those black eyes. Research suggests sharks don't see humans as prey and most attacks are actually just exploratory bites. After which, the shark typically moves on. After the initial attack, most sharks usually release their prey. This can give humans the chance to get away, unless it's a tiger shark. Then you're fucked. However, only 7% of attacks result in fatalities. Sharks pose a small risk to humans and there are easy ways to minimize the risk of being attacked. The odds of an attack are roughly 1 in 11 million, which is nothing compared to deadlier beach hazards such as boats, rip currents, and lightning. Sharks kill fewer than 10 people globally per year, while people kill an estimated 100 million sharks every year, largely due to fishing, finning, an accidental bycatch. Bloody hell. It's difficult to calculate the remaining numbers of a highly evolved underwater nomadic killing machine. But we know the number of great whites is in decline. We should enjoy and respect these big buggers while they're still with us. If you stuck around this long, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.